Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about how to create a diverging bar chart in Tableau. In this video, I will walk through the steps to create a simple diverging bar chart by one dimension. As you can see in this dashboard, I use the online superstore data to show the total profit generated by product category. Products with the highest profit are shown on top of this chart, while those generate little or negative profit are shown at the bottom of this chart. It is really easy to see the variance in terms of total profit by different products in order to inform business decisions. First, let's create a basic bar chart to show total profit by product category. You need to drag category to rows and profit to columns. Also drop category to mark label. Sort the category field by profit from high to low. Click the category field and unselect show header. Next, you will need to create a new calculated field I call this field zero. In the calculation, I assign the min function to zero. This will actually create a value of zero for every row in your dataset. Once done, drag the zero field to columns next to the sum profit field. You will see a new access with your product category has just been created. Next, you will need to create two calculated fields. One is called the greater than zero category label. The other one is called the less than zero category label. These two calculated fields will allow you to show the category names as the labels, depending on whether or not the total profit is greater than zero. Inside the calculation, for instance, in the greater than category label, you put the if total profit is greater than zero, then category else no. Do the same thing for the less than zero category label. If the total profit is less than zero, then category else no. Drop the greater than zero category label to the sum profit marks card. Remove category from label. Drop the less than zero category label to label under the zero marks card. Also remove category from label. Go back to sum profit, click label, and then make sure your label alignment is left and center aligned. Under the all marks card, Change the chart type from bar to GAN bar. Drop the total profit field color under the zero marks card. Also, drop the profit field to size under the zero marks card. Adjust the color and make sure you choose the right color palette. Here, for instance, I use red green gold diverging palette go back to the sum profit marks card and edit color make sure your opacity is zero percent also add the profit field to size under the sum profit marks card edit this variable and put a negative sign in front of sum profit Change the columns to dual access. Make sure your access is synchronized. Under the zero marks card, click label and make sure your less than zero category label is right and center aligned. We also want to add labels to the bar chart. To do this, we need to use reference lines. You need to create two more calculated fields. 
One is called the greater than zero profit label. The other one is called less than zero profit label. In the calculated field, you want to put an if else statement, if some profit greater than zero, then some profit else no. Similarly, for the less than zero profit label, the calculation should be if some profit less than zero, then some profit else no. You need to drop the greater than zero profit label and the less than zero profit label to detail under both some profit and zero marks card. Go to the analytics pane, select reference line, drop reference line to sale for some profit. Change value to greater than zero profit label and select some. Select value as label and make sure you hide the reference line. Do this one more time for the zero marks card. Rather than using the greater than zero profit label, you should use the less than zero profit label. Change label to value, hide the reference line, click OK. You also want to tweak the value of your reference line, click format. Change to green. And adjust alignment to right and center aligned. Do the same thing for less than zero profit reference label. Click format. Change to red. And adjust the alignment and make sure it's left and center aligned. You may also want to hide the access headers and titles. Here is our diverging bar chart for total profit by product category. I hope you find this video useful. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.